What is up you guys, it's Emma, and today we are doing something that is gonna make me no doubt feel really uncomfortable, but it'll probably make you guys either laugh or cringe or all of the above. So let's jump into it. Today I am reacting to some of my old music videos. As my new album is out next month and I've got a whole bunch of new music videos coming your way, I thought it would be fun and probably cringeworthy to reflect on all of the content that we've released in the past. Maybe some of you guys have seen these before. I haven't seen any of these videos since the days that we released them on in full length. So let's get started. Okay, so first up is New Year's Eve Kiss. I look so freaking weird here. This makeup took so long to do. I did it all myself as well. I remember this. Oh, Lord. I feel really uncomfortable, like, watching my own mouth. That's so weird. Oh, God. Why isn't this my Halloween costume for this year? <laughs> what? <laughs> I forgot about the deer. I forgot I even put that there. Oh, I was so proud of my compositing green screen work there. I think the look I was going for was like Disney. We were trying to run with some like different Disney ideas for this entire video. I love that the Diz tail flicks, just so you know it's real. <laughs> I remember being so uncomfortable shooting this. This was the very first video where I felt like I had to act. It was really, really weird for me. Yeah, bling though. <laughs> oh my god, that headband. Also, that chair was probably like the whole budget on the music video. There he is, my little friend. I don't know why a deer would be in an ice cave. <laughs> why would that even be a thing? Damn. I was well proud of that. <laughs> We shot this outside of a radio station that we used to work at in Oxford. And it's just a path where people walk their dogs and there's me like in the trees, it was so weird. Oh my God. That mistletoe, number one, it took so long to arrive. It was the wrong time of year, I think, to even be ordering mistletoe. I don't think I'd ever picked up, even picked up a real piece of mistletoe before this. And then we ordered like a fresh, box of it and I had to lie in it. I had no idea how gooey the berries would be. It was all in my hair and everything. It was so gross. Look at that bling. Oh my goodness. Oh, woo! It's Rob Taylor Hastings! This is my friend Rob. He's a really good actor and he's just hilarious. We had so much fun filming this. Rob, my auntie has a crush on you. She watches this music video all the time. <laughs> that guy can hold an axe. Damn, he knows something's up. Look. Who's that hiding behind that tree and being creepy? <laughs> Why would I do that? Okay, so disclaimer. Um, I do not endorse meeting strangers in the forest, especially if they're wielding axes. Damn. <laughs> Hang on, go watch that again, go watch it again. Look at us, we're on a pier, but we're not. That was green screened. I found that super awkward. I mean, Rob, I, Rob, I love you, but I found that super awkward. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight up with you. I was a fan of the mistletoe look, but not a fan of it just getting up in my hair. That was the worst thing. Oh, oh it didn't happen. Didn't happen, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna rate that an overall cringe level of, I'm gonna give that maybe a seven. Okay, next up, this is a song called Me and You Now, and I wrote this and shot this for the people on You Now who watch me all the time, and you guys sent in fan art and stuff, and uh, I wanted to feature it in the video, so yeah. This is in our old studio. Look at your fan art, you guys. This is still a bop. And I had you guys singing along, yes. This was shot like in my old living room. As you can tell, I still have the same cushions and stuff. It was fun to do like a music video where I incorporated you guys. It was really, really fun. Oh 
<laughs> this is probably the cringiest scene. <laughs> I'm literally like sat in front of a, a painting that I got from Ikea. I had I literally had to shoot with what I had in my house. It was like, it was pretty dire. <laughs> Look at Roxy, what's she doing? I forgot Roxy was in this, she looks so tiny. Look at her little face. So I had to hold like a selfie stick and she's proper having a chew. <laughs> Repping that you now mush, look at that. I still have that. <laughs> That's pretty cringe. The whole thing is like pretty cringy, but it was, it was fun because it was something you know, it was a little video that we shot, like I say, in one day, and it was just fun to have you guys in the video in a way. It was really cool. You messed me up. So the whole budget for this video basically went on hiring the actors. <laughs> Peggy! And Alfie, I remember, yes. That's so cute. Shout out to the owner of these two dogs who allowed us to have them in our music video. You guys were really, really cool the whole day. I didn't want to take um, this video like too seriously. We wanted to have fun with this one. <laughs> oh! Pay me like one of your French girls. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> Peggy, oh my goodness, girl. <laughs> oh, I would. I didn't know whether people would get that reference to Titanic, but hopefully they did. Pug date. Oh damn. They only just met, and he's pulling out all the stops already. We fed them so much ice cream. This was my the very first day I ever spent an extended amount of time with pugs. I had so much fun. So the kind of storyline in this video is so disjointed and nonsensical because I was just like, you know what? We're just we're just gonna like film all these different scenes. It doesn't have to make sense because you know, it's pugs. Like whatever scene we put them in is gonna be super turbo awesome. So yeah, hence the tin foil spaceship. <laughs> you <mess me> up, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Favorite scene of the whole thing. Space Pugs. You can see in that shot that that spacesuit didn't really fit Peggy. It's like over her head. We made those costumes as well. And the space rugs! Oh my god. They're like paper mache. Oh my god. This scene. This scene was so funny. Look at that paintwork. That was done not by a 10 year old, but by me. They look so good. This was the very first scene we shot in the day and they loved it. Oh, Look! The helicopters! <laughs> the helicopters were an excellent touch. They like, they were really stinky as well. It was a stinky day on set. <laughs> this was like a lyric video and music video. Cherry on top. That confetti cannon. Oh my god. Went everywhere, man. We had a one shot take. It was so expensive. That was the only shot we got with that. Not suggestive at all. <laughs> okay, calm down. It's a song about ice cream and nothing else. Second chances. This is like the most recent one. This is from last year. This song's also on the album that's coming out next month as well. <laughs> Look, I'm angry. I'm throwing stuff in that box. Throw it in. Go on. A little bit creepy. <laughs> what are you doing with that camera in that window? That's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, my photographs sing at you. 
I think the whole kind of like idea of this video is that he was a photographer and she's trying to get him back because he did the dirty or whatever he did. Damn paparazzi. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Damn. Look, everyone's getting wrecked. They're not here for the music video. The whole kind of premise of the video was like he was a photographer and this was the awards and she was trying to get back at him. And he's like a really overrated kind of artist. He's like, yeah, check this cactus out. Look at that. Everyone's clapping. Yeah, it's so good. And she's like... <laughs> Hashtag cactus. James Hart looks so happy with himself. Look at him. Everyone... And I'm like, cactus? <laughs> oh. Hashtag lunch, this guy's a genius, and I'm like... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Look at James's face, he's so pleased with himself. He's like, I will take your chicken dinner and I will raise it to this. What even is that? Oh, and I raise you, hashtag exposed. Oh. Hashtag stock photo. <laughs> oh, man. No, that's not me. Hey, look, I was at the window. I saw you, James. <laughs> that's just me enjoying the fruits of my labor, sabotaging your award show. Moral of the story, photographers, don't cheat on your girl. Oh, this is my favorite thing about the entire video. Just Luke and James, just, this just comical. <laughs> the whole concept of this music video is pretty ridiculous, if I'm honest. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming on that little journey with me. I hope it made you laugh, cry and cringe all at the same time. If it did, hit that like button, hit subscribe and make sure you head over to here, my website, mmmagan.com and join up to my street team, The Brave Squad. I'm going to be sending you guys lots of different things to do with the album in the coming weeks. So if you want to be in on that, go over there and sign up. It's free. It's all for fun. And look out for the new album at the end of November. Bye.